darkness tries to roll over my bones And sorrow comes to steal the joy I hold And brokenness and pain is all I know I won't be shaken I won't be shaken My fear doesn't stand a chance when I Stand in your love My fear doesn't stand a chance When I stand in your love My fear doesn't stand a chance When I stand in your love Shame no longer has a place to hide not a captive to the lies. I'm not afraid to leave my past behind. I won't be shaken. I won't be shaken. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I everyone how are you this fine sunday morning it's good for you to join us i yes. love when you guys sign in and let us yeah, know we're like, where you're watching from and stuff like that <laughs> that is really really cool That's we just want to awesome. welcome you to this great sunday morning yes. and our new 
Table Talk again for Sunday morning, and we're yes. glad to be with you. It's yes, such a thrill sure to come are. into your homes, yes. into your vehicles. We know there's people in yes. the parking lot here, and yeah. we just want to do a shout out to say hi to everyone out there. Yes. God bless you. Hi, guys. You betcha. So you we have been really enjoying our time together. That yes. song, by the way, was incredible. Oh, I just fear. so appreciate yes. uh, Devin and Stacy yes. and, and just what they bring yes. to our church. And, yes. and uh, it's such an honor. And we just yeah. want to bless you, Devin and Stacy. Thank yeah. you so much for providing the music for us this yes. morning as we taped it a few days ago. And, and uh, we just want to honor you and your family. Yes. God bless you all. It's awesome. Fear doesn't stand a chance. No, That's what they were thinking about. Absolutely. And, uh, powerful. Powerful stuff. That's absolutely. Awesome. We're going to embark on a topic that um, is, again, very relevant to not only us, yes. but uh, I think that all of us can relate to it. Yes. And uh, we want to talk this morning for the next 20 or 25 minutes on thriving in transition. Yeah. Thriving in transition. Yeah. I don't know about you, but oftentimes transition is really an uncomfortable place. It's, yes. it's sometimes an unknown factor. Sometimes when we're in transition, we have more questions than answers. Yeah. And sometimes fear sets in. Yeah. It's like we heard about. Yeah. Sometimes insecurities really rise to the top in the yes. midst of transition. Yeah. And, 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 and I think it's important for us to discuss some of yeah. these things. Yeah. We want to talk about that. Absolutely. Because... I also have like transition is usually a messy place. Yes, so, it is. Yeah. So that because of all the yeah. unknowns, right? Oh, exactly. The questions yeah. and the what ifs yeah. and wonder and 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 like I yeah, say, so sometimes can... we can be filled with so many questions. Before we get into the topic, it's important for us to t to, to it's important for us to say this. Yes. If we are gonna thrive in transition, yeah, we have to believe inside yeah that it's possible yes if we don't believe that it's possible for us That's to thrive right. because it's important for us to realize that god has created us to thrive in no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in that's right that, that's a huge powerful, statement powerful truth because sometimes we think yeah. we can't thrive because of the environment yes. we're in that's right and yet god has created yes. every one of us Yes. To thrive in no yes. matter what situation yes. we're placed in. Yes. The reality, I think, is is we have to learn to understand how to tap into that. Yes. And how to break it loose in our life. That's right. Because it's there. Yeah. It It, it is there. Yes. And I think I've used many times excuses throughout my life why I couldn't succeed here or I couldn't succeed yes. there or this yeah. was a wall I just can't climb or overcome. Yes. That's right. But the reality of it is, babe... Yes. That's not true. That's, That's a lie that we've been believing totally, yeah. that we can't thrive where yeah. we are. So today is a day we're going to break some of those mindsets. mindsets off so that you know that we it is possible yes. to thrive. Absolutely. When we're in transition. And we all go through transition. We've been Actually. talking about the last number of times that we want to be a voice of hope and of life. Yes. And and. and yeah. We're all in a transition here. Yeah. All of us are in a transition with what's going on in the world and things shifting and changing. But sometimes yes. transition comes in, in relationships that we're in. Yes. Sometimes transition comes when we're, yes. we're dealing with stuff. Transition yes. comes sometimes when yes. you know, we get the yeah. pink slip and, and say we're being laid off yes. or, or we yeah. lose our job. And so it's important yes. for us to realize that, yes. that those are valid transitions that all of us are going through yes and yet in the midst of those things even though it looks messy yes it looks harmful intimidating intimidating yep. insecurity wonder yes. questions yes we are created yes you are created yes. by god yep. to survive yeah not survive thrive. thrive yeah it's important for us to yes. distinguish the difference between yeah. a survival mentality yes and a thriving mentality yes. survival says what uh, I'm gonna barely make it. Right. I, like you're just hanging on by the threads. You're gonna try to hang on. It's like so getting you thrown in a pool with a yes. life jacket and clothes on, and you're close to the and edge, and you can you can paddle for a little while. At least yeah. you know you can grab the edge of you the might. corner of the of the pool, and you're exactly. be, it's I'm gonna survive. <laughs> Drink in the water. It, it's important for us to understand. Yes. Yeah. God has not built us or create yes. us to simply be survivors. Yes. But to thrive. 
His intent is for us yes. to thrive. Yes. Thrive in yeah. whatever mind and, we and I actually love that because when Jesus came, he brought a huge transition. Yes. And he was in that transition, he was demonstrating how to thrive when everything around you Absolutely. changes when you're coming yep. out of something. So and I also think that in the middle of transitions, it actually can be a very vulnerable place and it can yes, go absolutely. touch a lot of areas in us that we have to actually deal with yeah. in transition. I, I think transition is one of yes. the things that help us to deal with stuff. Yes, it is. It's because in transition, all these things are lifted in front of us yes. and we have to do something with them. Yeah. We, have to, we have to juggle, we have to yes. make decisions and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And this is an interesting point too that yeah. we talked about a little bit this yeah. morning as we were just wrapping our mind around what we wanted to talk about. And, yeah. and oftentimes, in order for us to thrive, yes. we look for... We look for ideal and perfect circumstances. Yeah. Yes. And it's important to realize that yeah. in order to thrive, we don't have to wait for our circumstances yeah. to be perfect yes. or things to come into a line. Yes. But our success is determined yes. not by those things yes. because we can rise above yes. the obstacles that yes. are around us. We yes. can uh, uh, rise above right. the situations that yeah. we seem that impossible. Yeah. So when those transitions come, yeah. it's not an obstacle. Yes. Rather it's an opportunity. Totally. And sometimes it's hard for yes. me to wrap around the idea where yes. it is an obstacle versus an opportunity. Because an such obstacle a huge flip. Because an obstacle says stop. It's a huge stop sign. And yep. so many times yes. our lives are plagued with stop signs. Yep. I can't yep. get through here. Stop sign. This yep. person won't approach me. Stop sign. Yes. I, I'm trying yep. in this aspect and a stop sign. Yes. I can't seem to get anywhere. Yes. So we just... So the obstacles in our yep. stop sign, and so that's what we do is we stop. Yep. And I have a note here yep. is we have to learn to push through. Yes. We've got to learn yes. to push yes. through because if we don't push through... <laughs> yes. We're going to miss the opportunities that are yeah. in front of us yeah. that God wants to bring what's inside of yeah. us out to yeah. the surface. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's incredible. It is. It's incredible. So yeah. we, we often look for the perfect circumstances yes. and, 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 and before we think we can thrive. And yes. so we need to understand yeah. that, that that's simply not true. That's right. But unless yeah. we believe it, we got to believe unless that it's, it's possible. That that we think it's impossible. That's yeah. our greatest. That's our greatest enemy. Yes, is our own thinking yeah. system. That's right. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. It won't work. Yeah. I can't help it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I'm just, control it. I just am who I am, and I I can't. <laughs> I don't have that ability. Yes. What does that make you feel like when you're yes. told you can't? You don't have what it takes. Yes. You don't have the ability. Yeah. You don't. It's not going to yeah. work for you. You're just going to have to be able to wade your way through and grab yeah. on because at the end, you'll yeah. hopefully get out. You know what? That brings a lot of discouragement. And sometimes we just accept defeat. We just sit down in the in the puddle right there. I've, oh, that is yeah. such a good point because I've yeah. accepted defeat so yeah. many times. Yes. And that's a stop sign. Yeah. It's a stop sign in our yeah. progress. Yes. It's a stop sign in yeah. our our adventure. It's yes. a stop sign in what God yes. wants to pull out of us. Yes. And I want to tell you this morning, yes. God is in the business of taking yes. stop signs yes. away from our thinking. That's right. Yep. I like what someone says. Yeah. The Bible even talks about then Amos 3.3, 3, I believe. And way back in the Old Testament, yes. it says, as a person thinks, yeah. so is he. Yes. Yeah. Everything goes back. Yes. To our what mindsets. Are Everything goes back to our mindsets. Believing? What are we believing? Yeah. Because yes. going back a, a couple yes. of sessions, we said yeah. how we bleed determines how we live. Yes. Yeah. Totally Powerful. an overflow. It is. Powerful, powerful, So it's powerful. possible. Yes, it is. Thriving in transition is possible for you. Yes. It's for me, for you, babe. It's Absolutely. possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That is so true. Yes. Okay. One thing that we wanted to mention, too, that in this aspect of thriving, yeah. we have to understand it's yeah. a process. Yeah. yeah. If we expect true. to have victory the very next hour, the very next minute, yeah. The very next day, yes. sometimes that's one of the yeah. biggest discouragements. Yes. And I don't know about you, yeah. 
But when I'm discouraged, one of the hardest yes. things for me to do yeah. is to push through discouragement. Yeah. And you, you know what, hun? I was thinking of how when we're in transition, we're often in that vulnerable place. And it actually yep. triggers a lot of things mm -hmm. in us. It'll trigger our fears. It'll trigger our, you know, how, how we're thinking. And I think... I have something written down here. It's like, and sometimes in those places, it feels like the triggers are going off like a machine gun. And it oh, can yeah. be overwhelming, right? Because yep. you're all triggers. But it is the opportunity. When we're triggered, it is the opportunity for us to actually deal with it yes. and actually take some of those lies that we've been believing down, yeah. address those fears, you know? And, and again, that's you know, not easy because no, we're fighting isn't. with our own selves. Yes, it's our thing. It's not even fighting with other people because no. other people yeah. can validate what we're struggling with. Yes. And we but have to be careful the voices here. that we're listening to because yes. oftentimes yeah. the voices yeah. that we're listening to yeah. aren't there to promote us, yeah. aren't there to encourage us, aren't yeah. there to build us, yeah. aren't there with, with yeah. our self-interest in mind of yeah. God declaring what we are. Yes. And so, yeah, we need yeah, we to have, be, Yes. we have to remember it's a process. It's important to understand process. Yes. I've said this before. Yeah. Process is just as important as yes. end result. Yes. But unless we believe it. That's the thing. That we can thrive wherever we're at. Yes. We have our pink yes. slips. We're yes. getting laid off. We can thrive in the midst of that. How yeah. does that work? Yeah. God will network things in our favor. Yeah. He will show up in yes. the context of our life yes. and walk us through that process. Yes, he will. And he will walk us through that process. And sometimes our view of success will ch change in transition. I think it's an important point. It's yes, an important point. We've because got to let go of our, absolutely. our view or a perspective of what success looks like. Because sometimes we think, oh, if I was successful, I wouldn't lose my job. I wouldn't do this. Yes, wouldn't that's happen. right. And we, we have the wrong view of it that's important and it point stalls us because we have to yes. look at how do we view success yeah. what is our definition of success yes. because the definition of our success yes. will determine yeah. our view of what we're going through yes sometimes success yes. is having some things being removed yes Sometimes success yes. is yes. moving from one area that. to the next. I love that. Because honey. what that does is it yes. sets us up for yes. a wide open opportunity. Yes. And if we stay in the yes. context that we're in, yep. success will be hampered and, and we will only and see. And we but we see don't that. recognize that. No. But when we do, it yeah. sets us free. When we do, it yes. opens us up. When we do, it really yes. liberates us. Yes. So we want to speak liberation, That's if I right. can use that word, into your life because yes. it's important for us to yes. understand that. Yes. It's a freedom. Yes, it is. You are meant to thrive right where you are. Yes, absolutely. You can make the most yeah. of whatever you are. That's but it so all good. boils down to process and a mindset change. Yes, it does. The question that I want us to go, let's let's pull some thoughts out here that we can leave. Yes. Um, that we can leave our listeners and yeah. things that we've even wrestled with ourselves. Yes. And, and uh, so the question I want to ask here now is, if we're created to succeed in transition, if we're meant to thrive yes. in whatever environment we're put ourselves in, how does one do that? Yeah. See, that's an important question yes. because it's a question that many times we wonder. Yeah. How does that happen? Yes. And, it, and the nice thing about it, it is far simpler than what we even imagine that's right. or think. Sometimes we complicate, because that's what we're feeling like we're in a mess. And it, and it just, we complicate things, right? So we want to simply give you some simple tools to take Absolutely. home. Absolutely. And they're not and long. When, no. But I found them to be powerful. Yes. Because that's what transition is. Transition yes. can be very, yes. very powerful yes. and life changing. Yes. Yes. And I actually believe that is actually meant to be that. I agree. I, it's meant to be. Do I experience it all the time? No. Yeah. But it's mine. It is. I can tap into that. It so is. how then do we thrive and transition? Yes. There's three things that we want to quickly pull out here. Yep. And it's important because it's pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, it is. The, if we want to thrive and transition, if we want to thrive and transition, we have to understand that it involves our attitude. Yeah. Attitude <laughs> That's is a big huge. One. Yeah. Now I can point my, the finger at me 
Yeah. When I get up in the morning, I can point the finger and look <laughs> in the mirror. I can point the finger Probably when I go to work. Too. I can point my finger when I'm dealing with situations. Yes. I can because attitude yes. is huge. Yes, it is key. I like what you said <laughs> yesterday because I wrote it down. Battles are won and lost by your attitude. <laughs> attitude is Battles huge. are, are I forgot shifting. about that. Yeah. Battles are yes. won or lost yes. based on our attitude. Yeah. Shifting your thinking. That is incredible. Yes. Shifting our thinking. Yes. Jesus made a statement when he was on earth. He made a statement in, yeah. the, in the early, early yeah. chapters of the New Testament yeah. in Matthew. His first message Jesus preached yeah. was repent. Yeah. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes. And, and if you've been in our church at all, you would know that that word repentance is not a bad word. It's changing the way you think. Yes. And You're so what okay. Jesus was saying, we yeah. often associate repentance as a bad word. It's not. It has nothing to do with feeling sorry. It has nothing to do with uh, yeah. feeling guilty. It has nothing to do. It has everything to do with change the way you think. Yeah. So Jesus, opening statement when he preached, he said, yes. hey, I want you to change the way you think yeah. because a new yeah. system has arrived. That's right. And he says you're going to have to transition from your yes. old mindset. Your there's old the word way transition of thinking, again. And you're going to what have did you say? Transition from your what? Your old way of thinking into the new way. Yes. Because transition. you can thrive. Because he brought the kingdom to demonstrate Absolutely. how to thrive in transition. And our attitude is key. Yes. And the nice thing about yes. it, I've recognized and realized that our attitude yes. is something that we can control really <laughs> we just don't think we can because we're yes. so used to operating yes. in a certain way react and when we learn yes. to not to react or yes. not to yeah, yeah. not to react but yeah. to respond to things yes. it changes how we yes. deal with what's in yes. front of us and you know what I think is huge honey what's that God Jesus was the, was the perfect representation of the nature of God yes. but everything God does is to bring a transition. When there's a transition, he brings new life from yep. something that was ashes. Absolutely. He, that is that is his nature. He's the biggest oh. trans he's the biggest yes. um transitioner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We don't have to accept yeah. how we think of ourselves. Yeah. God's going to bring us into a transition yes. so we can rethink how we yes. think of ourselves. Yes. The things that are in yeah. front of us, God yeah. is going to come alongside yeah. and bring a transition. Yes. That means there's, go I'm telling you folks, that means yes. there's going to be uncomfortableness in your life. Yes. There's going to be a little bit of chaos. There's going to yeah. be a little bit more questions and answers. There's going to yes. be that aspect of things yes. in yes. one's life yeah. because you're in a transition. But yeah. we want to tell you, don't be afraid. Yes. Don't react. Yes. Take a deep breath yes. and recognize yeah. that God is about to open up yeah. a door for you. Yes. He that is. unless you he enter is. into that door, he is. you can experience yes. what he has for us to experience. Yes. So embrace transition. Yes, that's huge. I have some stuff written down here, honey, and it was just a declaration. God always brings new life from ashes. He brings the dawn of a new day after a nice season he is always a restoring god he can and will redeem and make new life come from what you've thought you've lost yeah. in the last season so that transition is the doorway into new beginnings we, we experience transition yes. here we move from winter yeah. to spring spring yeah. to summer yeah summer to fall those are natural transitions that yes. we we go through in life yeah in a practical sense yeah but so do our lives go through transitions yes. all the time. Yes, it does. And we want to encourage you in those transitions. God never forgets you. No. He's there with you. Yes. But unless we push through that curtain. Yes. And have the perspective open up. Yes. So that it's we can huge. see what's all yes. available to us. Yes. Powerful. Yes. Powerful. Yes. And when we Powerful. believe that, when we believe Absolutely. it's possible to thrive, and when we believe that God is actually going to bring a new dawn, a new day, something new, a new yes. beginning, when we believe it, it, 
It brings our heart and it can bring us to a steadfastness. We're getting close to our 25, 26, 27 mark here. And so okay. let's go to the second one yes. just so that let's we can honor our time of our listeners. And yes. again, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for allowing us the privilege. It is a privilege it is. for us to go in your home. Yes. I want you to know we do not take that for granted. We honor yes. your time and we just yes. are so grateful for that. Thank you yes. so much. The second thing that's important for us to know is yeah. we can't. We can't dwell on the past. Yep. If we want to thrive yes. in transition, yeah. we, can't, we can't dwell on the past. Yes, I know. We have to understand yeah. the past is behind us. Yes. And so often I've found in my yes. own life we've allowed our past yeah. to hijack us yeah. from our future. That's right. Yeah. That's tragic. It is. Because we yeah. stay stuck. The big stop sign is there again. Yes. Yep. Exactly. So we can't dwell in the past. Yeah. We, yeah. M Helen and I, we've been going through the book of Ephesians together. And, and uh, we're nearing the end of chapter 3. But yeah. it's interesting because Paul, who wrote the letter to, to the Ephesians. It's actually Philippians. Philippians. Sorry, not nope. Ephesians. It's okay. Yep. And yeah. Yeah. Philippians. <laughs> Philippians. Anyway, um, he writes there. He says, yeah. one thing I've learned. Yes. For in order for me to go on and experience transition, the yes. full benefit of transition yes. in my own life, he yes. says, I have experienced yes. one thing, yes. and that's forgetting what's behind yes. and looking with anticipation yes. to what's ahead. Yes. Yeah. That's our. Yes. That's for us. Yes, it is. He's writing it from a yes. perspective of a relationship with Jesus. Yes. That's available to us. Yes, so he says, is. forgetting what's behind. Yeah. Hey, I don't care what things have been going on in your life and your past. Yeah. yeah. There are people that will always bring up your past. Yeah. There will be people that always remind you of your mistakes. There's always going to be people, even yeah. people that go to church and mean well, yeah. will bring up things about yeah. your past yeah. because it's almost like they, they feel they need that to make themselves feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Or and maybe I say, to shape you up. Or, or to shape you up. <laughs> I don't know. I say, <laughs> yeah. as Paul says, forget what's behind. Don't yes. let anyone, even yourself, sometimes yes. we can be our worst yes. enemies. Yes. Yep. We can be our worst yes. enemies yeah. by holding us back yeah. because of what's happening behind. Yes. We're not defined what's no. behind. We're defined no. by what God declares us no. here now yes. and guides us what's ahead of us. Yes. So you can't dwell on the past. We yes. have to forget those things yeah. which are behind. Yeah. Many times we allow fears, yeah. decisions we've made, yeah. things we've encountered, yeah. stuff that we've done, things that we wish we wouldn't have done, things that we wish we would have done differently. Yes. Yeah. But we can't undo those things. No. All we can do is back up against them and life, start fresh. Life is a journey. Every day is a new day. Journey. Yes, it sure is. I got a note here. It says yeah. we can't stay stuck. Yes. We can't stay stuck. Yes. And remember what we said, honey. Um, we can't stay the same going into a transition as we come out. That's we right. Have to, we have to allow it to shift us. Last point before okay. we close. Let's say it. The last point, and it's important for us to understand, and it's this. Don't make permanent decisions when you're in the midst of a transition. Yeah. Why? Because in a transition... It's a process yes. of opening wide opportunities yes. for us to experience what God wants us to experience. Yes. We're not at the finish line. That's right. The transition. The transition is part of the process. Yes. And one of the tragedies often yes. is, is we can make lasting decisions yeah. in one of the most confusing and questionable times of our life. Yes. We've got to learn yes. to take a deep yeah. breath back. Yeah. Let the process do what the process needs to do. Yes. Before we make any decisions yeah, that are lasting. It's not the final destination. It's not the. No. I have a, I have a note here. It says, yes. the 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 um, don't make permanent decisions because yes. transition is a part of the process, but not the final destination. Yes. Yeah. Then I have a note here in closing. We'll say this: too often we make life-altering decisions. Yeah. Because we have fear, we're yeah. filled with uncertainty, yeah. and we have more questions than we have answers. Hmm. Yeah. I want to tell you that you are not alone. Yes. Yeah. Your future is bright. Yes. God looks at you with favor. Yes, he does. Even though your circumstances may not look 
favorable. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not about where we are. Yeah. Because we're created to thrive wherever yes. we're planted. Yes. And it's possible. It's possible. Even right now in the middle of transition. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey. If yes. you like what you hear, we yes. would encourage you hit the share button. More yeah. people get experience to hear some of this stuff yeah. of our personal journey. So hit yeah. the share button. We yeah. encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, Estevan Church of God. Yes. There's a, all kinds of resources yes. there, messages. Yeah. We got worship. We have yeah. songs, different things, things that you've heard today. You can yes. hear on our yeah. YouTube channel. And so it's just Estevan Church of God. Yes. YouTube, and we would encourage you, why don't you hit the subscribe button? We would love yeah. for you to be yes. connected with us. Yeah. Our Facebook page, yeah. Estevan Church of God. Yes. You can like us there. There's all kinds of ways that yes. we can connect. Hey, yeah. why don't you take a few moments after you subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a note and tell us yes. what this means to you. you know We'd love I'm, to hear from you. I just, I just want to say, I, I feel like this topic isn't done. No. So I'm thinking we're going to jump in at Wednesday and Let's just do that. bring our personal Let's do that. soul. Just Let's a do continuation that. of Let's continue talking this talk about transition. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for joining we us, guys. We love you. Bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.